Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn about one of the stream API that is iterate API. So quickly we will learn what is the use of iterate API in stream APIs in Java 8 version. Suppose you want to create a list of integers which is having one to five numbers, like one to five elements. So here we can create an array list and we can add one by one, one, two, three, four, five. So now we have created a list which is having one to five elements. Suppose we want to create a list with one to 10 elements, we will add 10 elements. Suppose we want to create a list of integers which is having 100 elements, one to 100. We can create a for loop and iterate from one to 100 and add each element to the list. So using, but same thing we can do using iterate API in stream APIs in Java 8 version very easily. So first we will print this list one. First we need convert. We can use for each method. So now we have created list of five elements. So now we will do same thing. We will create a same list using iterate API. Iterate API is a static method. So we can call it using class. Stream is a class and it has an iterate method. So in iterate, there are two parameters. First parameter is a starting number, starting element. And the next parameter will take a lambda expression, which will return the second element in iteration. So starting element we want as one. So here we need to pass lambda expression, which will return next element. So first element and next element. Lambda expression, which will take one parameter and return next element. It takes one parameter and next element is two. Two means we have, we have to add one to the first element. So n is previous element n plus one. So like this, it will iterate one, one plus one, two, two plus one, three, three plus one, four. And it will iterate indefinitely like this. So after this, we have to collect into a list. I have already explained what is collect method in previous video. Please wa watch it. How to collect the numbers into a list. We can use collectors to list method. So all those elements will be put into a list and it list will be written. So we can save it in list one. Now we will try to print all those elements. Let's comment this and now execute this. As you can see, there is no output. It is still running. So here we are iterating indefinitely. We are not putting any limit. So one, two, three, four, five, it will go on indefinitely. So suppose we want only five numbers into a list. There is a limit API, which we can specify. We want only five numbers in iteration. So after five elements, this will iteration will stop and it will collect into a list. Now print and see. See, now we have got five elements as a list one output. If you want to generate 100 elements into a list, just change this limit and just print. We got 100 elements. Suppose we want to have a list which is having 10 odd numbers. So in this case, iterate, it will generate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we want to generate only odd numbers. After 1, we should generate 3. So for previous, we need to add 2 to the previous element. So that we will get 3 after 1 and 5 after 3 like that. So how many odd numbers we want? 10 numbers. Try to 
print this so as you can see 1 3 5 7 we got all odd numbers suppose we want 10 elements with all ones means all elements should be 1 and 10 elements here instead of returning n plus 2 just return 1 every time so we are not incrementing anything we are not generating the sequence of numbers we are returning every one every time like that we will return 10 ones let's try to print we got 10 ones into a list so this is the use of iterate method we can generate list of sequence of numbers very easily i hope you understood understood this video please like and share this video if you like thank you for watching